So just why do people stay trapped in abusive relationships? And this isn't only intimate partners. It can be letting go and going no contact with parents, with childhood friends, with other family members, leaving that job due to a co-worker, a boss, when it comes to narcissistic people, somebody's narcissistic partner is somebody else's narcissistic parent, narcissistic child, narcissistic friend, narcissistic coworker, narcissistic boss. They don't lose that narcissism when they're around other people. They change their behaviour when around other people to manipulate people into serving the narcissist. And there's lots of different reasons why people will stay trapped in these kinds of relationship from having compassion towards the person, trying to help the person, having object consistency, so still caring for the person even when there is conflict and distance and disagreements between each other, still having the ability to care for the other person, wanting to see the best in the other person, fear, financial restraints. Narcissistic people usually have control over your finances. So it's not as simple as, oh, well, I'll just leave those and I will go here. You've often got nowhere to go. Isolation. A narcissistic person will isolate you from all forms of support. And with these things running in the background, you've also got a narcissist that can treat you better than anybody ever has. When they meet you, there's often that very fast involvement and they're there for you. They get to know all about who you are as a person and they seem to latch on to your vulnerabilities. And they do it in a way where they're seemingly helping you and what you don't realise is they're hindering you, they're sabotaging you, they're using your vulnerabilities as leverage to exploit you. As we all have difficult times within our lives, we all go through some form of trauma. It would be lovely to have someone come along and sort things out for us. So when somebody does come along, seemingly able to help us through the tough times, we believe in them. We, all people are capable of mistreating people. However, as you've not mistreated another person, you don't see that other people are capable of mistreating you until it's actually done to you. So when they're treating you well, it's extremely easy to be influenced into trusting them as you've no reason to not trust them. They've not shown you a side where they're untrustworthy. And by the time you get to that point, you're in that deep. It's not so easy to get out. Whatever it is that you're missing or lacking within your life, things that you might not even realise you're lacking or missing within your life, a narcissist is going to come along and provide these for you. They are going to be too good to be true. And as we know that this can happen, we are influenced into believing that we've just met somebody that really cares for us, that that boss wants what's best for us. Our parents, they do it in such a way where they claim they want what's best for us when they're actually sabotaging us. And because we don't know any better, it's very difficult to see what's happening to us. Once a narcissistic person has you hooked on whatever it is they've used to hook you into the relationship, once they've got you where they want you, they start devaluing you in some of the most horrific ways to strip you away from who you are as a person, strip away your beliefs, strip away your boundaries, leave you a shell of your former self, strip away your dreams, strip away your confidence, strip away your financial resources, strip away your family. Narcissistic people rule through love or through fear. So they're going to get you into that much self-doubt that when they do inevitably hurt you, they're going to blame you. However, because you've been made to feel like you're worth less than you actually are, 
they're going to do it in a gaslighting method so that you end up blaming and doubting and questioning yourself and not the very person who is manipulating you and with narcissistic people they are very good at bringing in that reward punish so no matter what you do for them it's never enough for them however when you do something for them and they feel the need to reward you they're going to spoil you they're going to love you they're going to treat you better than anybody ever has and then when you're not pleasing them, they're going to devalue you. They're going to punish you. They have a strong desire to hurt those who they don't believe are serving them as they're entitled to be served. So they seek to punish you. However, they're going to blame you for punishing you. For example, if a narcissistic person treats on you, cheats on you they're often going to turn around if they get caught out and say well if you'd have paid me more attention because they require that excessive attention and no matter how much you give them due to that requirement and that excessive attention that they need it's never going to be enough for them they're always going to be seeking more they're envious of other people so they look for more however they don't see themselves as the problem they they avoid taking responsibility they avoid being held accountable and they avoid consequences for their actions by shifting the blame well if you'd have paid me more attention i wouldn't have needed to go elsewhere which we can stand there but some of the things they're saying to us and think hey <laughs> That really doesn't make any sense. But because they are so good at what they do, at manipulating you, it's very difficult to walk away. They've usually isolated you from all forms of support. So you've got nobody left that you can turn to. You might have told everyone just how amazing and wonderful they are. And it cuts deeper than having to go and explain everything that you are going through with that person. People tend to be humble people tend to not to want to bother others narcissistic people will bother others with their pain of oh they're doing this to me and they're doing that to me and everyone must love and protect me people most often than not who are the victims of a narcissist don't want that attention they they don't see themselves as a big victim they question themselves they doubt themselves and often due to the narcissist manipulation However, when they get to a point where they're about to break free, a narcissist comes back in, sweeps them off the feet, treats them better than anyone ever has, and they stay trapped in that cycle until a narcissistic person sees something better. And then they will discard because they see the person that they are with as no longer being of any value to them, of any use to them. So they move on to somebody else. However, the final discard often comes from the victim, as with a narcissistic person, when they're no longer getting what they want from the new supply, whether that is a parent that's treating one child so well and dropping another child and then picking another child up and then dropping that child, the scapegoat and the golden child, whether that's a boss triangulating co-workers, the divide and conquer, whether that's an intimate partner moving on to somebody new, hoovering an ex, when a narcissistic person is not getting their needs met from the new supply, they will most often then hoover an old supply to try and get the attention, to try and get the supply that they believe they're entitled to. More often than not, a narcissist will be smearing people's names. They will be talking badly. They will be gossiping about those that they claim to care about and they're doing this to discredit the other person's character to discredit the other person's reputation so if the other person ever does speak out they're not believed due to what the narcissistic person has already told others about the victim when it comes to narcissistic people they rule through that love, they, they trap you through that love and then they keep you in that place through fear. And there's many different things they will say to intimidate you into staying with them. Narcissistic parents, a father or a mother, depending which one it is, would say, how would your mother feel? How would your father feel? To guilt trip you into doing things that you 
do not want to do. A narcissistic partner who's financially abusing you might say, how are you going to survive without me? You'll never see the children again without me. They're going to place that fear into you and they're going to intimidate you in such ways that you can never quite work out whether they will follow through with this. So it, it keeps you trapped in the dynamics of that relationship. Narcissistic people go all out to violate you in such a way that you start saying and doing things that are no longer true to who you are as a person. For fear of retaliation from the narcissist if you don't go along with the narcissist. So whenever you try to break free from them, there's going to be some sort of fear. There's going to be some sort of barrier placed. It might be an invisible barrier that you've got to try and break through, but that, that fear of retaliation from them keeps you trapped in the dynamics with them. And narcissistic people, once you do leave them, they don't let things lie. They seek to punish you. They have a strong desire to punish you. They feel resentment. We can all feel resentment. They feel resentment to the extremes of they want to punish you for leaving them. We can all feel like we want revenge or we want to see karma hit somebody that has betrayed us, that has used us, that has abused us, sort of justice being served. Most people want justice to be served. You don't have to do anything to a narcissistic person. A narcissistic person can leave you for somebody new, have a whole new ready-made family lined up and seek to destroy you, seek to punish you because they believe that you made them leave you. They believe you made them leave the children. And it's a cycle that they repeat because they will then do this to the new and the new, which is why the final discard comes from you because if a narcissist can go back to hoover you and get an opportunity to use you again, they will. When it comes to narcissistic people, they treat you better than anybody ever has. And if you don't go along with them, they place that fear in you where the retaliation from them is too great a threat for you to step out of line. So you're constantly working harder to please them, to bring back that person that can treat you so well. Because when they treat you wrong, you're the one that's left thinking, well, if I hadn't have done this, well, you know what they're like. They can treat me so well. It's, it's because I was in a mood that day because they will bait you into being in a mood and then accuse you of causing the issues within the relationship. And as you take responsibility for your behaviour, you end up taking responsibility for not only your behaviour, but also the behaviours of a narcissistic person. They're full of manipulation because they feel entitled to have what they want. They feel entitled to exploit people. They feel entitled to have their own way. They are arrogant enough to believe that they are better than others without putting the work ethics in. So they're going to go around devaluing people and making people feel inferior so that they themselves can feel superior to others. They lack the empathy to care for those that they hurt. When it comes to narcissistic people, there is methods to deal with some, depending where they are on the spectrum. With others, it needs to be no contact to, to keep the peace. You need to build that wall between you and the narcissist. They might try and climb over it now and again, but you have to go no contact with some and keep that wall solid so that they can't get over it, so that they can't get to you. Because once they've got over that boundary, once they've got over that wall, they're going to seek to attack you and take what they want from you again, which is why with some narcissistic people, no contact is the only way to go to keep the peace 
in your life as peaceful as life can be if you cannot go no contact it needs to be limited contact and grey rock i shall link the video for no contact and the video for rules to deal with narcissistic people and the video for grey rock in the description of this video for more information on those thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel it's greatly appreciated if you are new to the channel i'm elizabeth shaw this channel is all about narcissistic behavior to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse if you do find the information helpful on the channel then please do subscribe if you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse i do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description if you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with better help and their sponsored link is also in the video description go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day bye